Namaste, everybody. How was everybody doing? Okay. I've been preparing for this video for quite a long time. Okay. So let's just get started. Um, I'm probably going to say some of my prayers a cappello because apparently I looked over here to my where I keep all my cards and I can't find my prayers. So it's okay because I have them in my in my head. So hold up a second. I want to get one thing. This is from my sister Patricia for Christmas. And yeah, I'm just getting um I'm just getting to put away stuff that I got for Christmas. Okay, sorry. like to do about seven for the chakras. That opens it. Uh, I used to always do that back in the day. Oh, that fell. Okay. It's okay. Everything's okay. All right. So this, as you could see from the title, this is for Christy, who is a Virgo. Some people might resonate with this if you're a Virgo. Um, and if not, just sit back, relax, take what resonates, leave the rest behind. Okay. Um, so I just want to say a prayer for all of my please dear God and divine and all my ancestors and my angels and my spirit guides, namely Shanann, Tylee, Gannon, JJ, my mom, Patrick Brady, Sean, Sean Rispoli, Sean Michael Rispoli. Um, please come around me and help me to um, deliver the messages and help me to open up my third eye and be able to deliver the messages for this reading for Christy. Thank you very much. Uh, I appreciate it. Please let me see, feel, hear any messages that are important from Divine um, and messages for Christy, um, as I said, who is a Virgo. Uh, from her loved ones in heaven. Uh, if Teddy wants to step up, Teddy, her brother, wants to step up to the fence of heaven, please do, or James, or anybody who is an ancestor or spirit guide for Christy. Thank you. Namaste. I'm going to start with my cards that I have, some cards I have let out, but I'm just going to shuffle again. I tried to shuffle. I have like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven decks out. Okay. I started this hours and hours ago. Okay. So just, I'm a procrastinator. Okay. Sorry about that. Any messages for Christy? Messages for Christy? Please give us three messages for Christy. We're going to do three for most of the decks. Okay. 
I ate most of the books. I ate two. Thank you. One. Messages for Christy. Sorry about all the silence. I'm just meditating as I shuffle. I shuffled some of them. Some of them I have out already, but I want to just get some, the rest of them shuffled up. Messages for Christy. Just trying to get these out of the way because there's never, even though this is a big, huge table, there's never enough room. Eh, eh. Okay, that's not going to work. <laughs> Sorry. I got myself stuck. Okay, so. Yeah, I have enough out. Okay, so the first... The first few that I have, um, they're over here, so I'm just going to, I'm not going to move the, the camera because I know something bad will happen. Okay, so, um, yeah, I mentioned uh, Christy is a Virgo, and she's actually born September 8th, and I'm born September 7th, okay, um, so you're... Just in case you always wanted to know. Aww. Sorry about that. Um, if in case you wanted to know your seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, your destiny number is not eight. That's the, just a number that you resonate with. Eight is the number of power, money, and control. Um, but your destiny number is everything added up. Your, your birth year. Uh um, your month, your day, and your birth year. And that comes out to 37, which comes out to 3 plus 7 is 10. So you're number one. Um, your destiny number is number one, which means that you would be better off having your own business. You would be better off, um, you know, being able to have your own, run your own things, um, be the boss. In other words, like if you do work for somebody, you always do a good job, but sometimes you might have trouble with uh, not taking direction because you are a Virgo, so Virgos like to serve, but you'll be at your happiest being a number one destiny number, um, having your own business, even if it's a small business or uh, a job that you can have your own hours where you could basically say, I'm going to work Monday, Wednesday, Friday, or I'm going to work Tuesday, Saturday, uh, Friday, you know, whatever it is. Um, and if you can get that, you know, 
manifest that, try to manifest that. I think you would be at your happiest. You are going in 2023, you're in a six year. A six is the number of love, um, relationships, pastel colors, everything to do with, you know, getting um, a relationship straightened out. Um, or if you don't have a relationship, getting, attaining that relationship that you can be your best and be your happiest with. Um, okay, now the tarot cards. Okay, so I picked four. And we got the seven of cups. So that shows me that the, you have a lot of choices coming up, um, Christy, uh, this year and probably already started. And sometimes the choices might confuse you. Um, because you might, being a Virgo, you might say, yeah, I want to get those pentacles in order. I want to get finances in order. Because um, that's important to Virgos. We want to know that we're going to pay our bills, that we have enough money um, to pay our bills and to be able to, you know, live comfortably. Um, anyhow, uh, there's a different thing that when I'm holding this card, I always say, what do the angels want to tell me? What do the spirit guides want to tell me? And they're telling me that something that you might have chose last year, the year before, um, is not even going to be an option for you. N not because you don't, not because it's not there for you. It's you don't want it anymore. There's something that you wanted or you thought you wanted. You don't want it anymore. So when we have the seven of cups, we have um, all kinds of different choices that will be available. You will be a little confused. You just need meditation time. You need more time to think about what you really want, what would really make you happy. All that glitters is not gold. All that glitters is not gold. Look beyond the clouds. Money improvements. Yeah, money definitely will be improving. Also career, anything kind of career goals, um, opportunities with your job or opportunities with that said business. Um, you're manifesting, okay? Keep keep it up. Keep manifesting. Keep writing down your, your goals as if you already have them. Okay, and keep dreaming, even if there's like a new one coming in, but you never thought you could have it. Keep on pushing for it because this is a very good card to get. Okay, next up we got Page of Pentacles. Okay, so Pentacles um, usually always mean the Earth signs, Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus. Um, but uh, pages come with a message. Um, there is a message coming for Virgo, um, coming for you. Um, and the page usually represents a child or a, per a young person up to like anywhere from a kid to about 25. Okay. Um, so the page holding the pentacle, that's a good thing. Okay, it's a message. It could come in the form of a, a text. It could come in the form of an email. It could come in the form of a letter. Okay, it could come in the form of a court paper, but it's good. Um, even if secrets are revealed that you might not have known, but you had a gut feeling on it, um, you're going to be right. Um, something you were thinking about, um, you're going to find out you were 100% correct. Okay. It's a young woman up to about 25 years. Like I said, could be a student, male or female, and they bring a pentacle. So that's opportunity for money. That's opportunity for, um, increasing, uh, abundance. So it is a good sign. Next up, we have the King of Pentacles. Okay, so come on, Seven of Cups, choices, you know, about to have uh, abundance. Then we have the Page of Pentacles. Now we have the King of Pentacles. Okay, that's a man over 25 years old, definitely over 25. Dark eyes and could be dark eyes, dark hair, swarthy skin. Um, they could have a, a dark complexion. And what do they represent? 
business arrogance. They also are arrogant. They're like, I know I'm rich. I know I have. I'm holding all the keys to the castle, um, and they're very powerful. But I don't feel bad about it. Let me just do another feel. Um, Spirit, what do you have to say about this man, the King of Pentacles? What do you have to say? He will tell you something. He will offer you something. But don't, um, don't be rushed in your decision, okay? It might be something that you... You thought you wanted. Hey, how dare you stop? Hey, let's see. Hold on a second, guys. What the heck? Six sixteen. Make a wish. Okay. Sorry about that, guys. Um, I have to have my music. I have to have it. It's uh, Jason Stevenson, Third Eye Opening Music. It helps me with the read. Um, okay. It helps me with my ADD so I can focus for a second. Okay, so I feel like this man, he might rush you. He might say, here's this opportunity. Take it or leave it. You got to think. You got Here's this great opportunity, Christy, but you got to tell me by by Friday, or you got to tell me by tomorrow. Don't be rushed. Just say, no, that's something I have to think about. Thank you very much for the opportunity, but I have to think about it. Okay. And they just said it might have, it might also be something to do with love life, relationships. Oh, okay. So what they just showed me is it could be somebody coming back or trying to get back in your life. And what they do is they show you, look at all the money I'm going to bring to the relationship or look at all, you know, um, the opportunities um, that you'll have if you give me another chance. So if it's relationship, because it, it's, it's not showing me like definitively it's business. So it's in the middle. So it could be somebody personally that you used to know or work for or were in a relationship with, and they're coming back. I don't necessarily feel bad about it, but, however, the next card that I have kind of, when you get this card next to the King of Pentacles, this is also the Pentacles, but this is the Five of Pentacles, and this is delays around money coming in from the cold. I, uh, I've been reading tarot cards since 1991, I believe, or 1990, I think it was. Anyhow, I always read this as the affair card. Okay, so this is like, it shows two lepers. In, in the olden days, lepers were not allowed to go into the church to pray because they, everybody was afraid they'll get the disease, right? It was like the olden days of COVID, all right? Except kind of worse. Um, so how I read this card is sometimes there's three people in a situation or even four, and these two people can't go into the church because they're married to other people or they're in relationships with other people. So me getting the king of pentacles, and this might make no sense at all. And if I'm off my rocker, um, not telling me anything new, but um, just I'm just going to tell you how I see it um, but, and how I feel it. So this man coming up with this other card right next to it um, could be that it, it's a person that was not available to you, and now they're coming to you and they're saying, hey, you know, now I'm available to pay attention to you or offer you something. But don't think that they're, they're not in a relationship with somebody else. Like, I feel like somebody's being a snake or somebody's not telling you the whole truth. They're telling you a little bit of the truth, not the whole truth. So you definitely have to think about what your decision will be. Um, don't rush in your decision. 
and ask your guides, definitely. Your guides are around you. I don't always get names, but however, I did tell you the other day, do you have a rose around you when we were um, texting? Um, I kept hearing rose and you said, no, you didn't know anybody named Rose, right? So I looked it up because I kept hearing that name all day. And then when I was, um, procrastinating, cause I, sh I should have did the reading yesterday, but just life comes up and I was on a four and a half hour conversation on the phone with my friend for four and a half hours. True story. Okay. So when I did this, I have to get my book. Hold on. Hold up. So I, I looked up, I did some research on if there was an archangel named Rose. If you don't have any roses in your family, you might have had a rose um, that is your ancestor. If not, it's clearly an archangel that watches over you. So I asked about, is there an archangel named Rose? And they said, yes, Rose comes around. She is the archangel of wisdom and illumination. So she comes to give you advice. She comes around you to illuminate the situation and the secrets, maybe the the secrets around you. Some people aren't telling you the truth. You have a gut feeling because Virgos are always very intuitive. They just don't want to see it. You know, you want to see the best in everybody. And sometimes pe some people aren't good for you. You know, some people are toxic. Um, so they're not for your highest good. And you know it, but you're like, oh, it'll get better. You know, let me give them 17 more chances. Okay. Um, anyhow, so Rose is for when you have a lot of fears or worries. Pray to Archangel Rose. All right. I learned something new too. Um, because I didn't know that. So that could be why. Um, and when you have indecision, check please over here, check please. Okay, so I have fear, worries, and indecisions too. So Archangel Rose is very much around you. Okay, Christy? Um, another name I heard was Emma, but I didn't get a chance to text you that. So I just heard Emma. Um, I ask if there's any messages for Emma, from Emma to Christy. Okay. Basically, she said, slow and steady wins the race. Okay. Slow and steady wins the race. So don't rush making a decision. Look, write out your pros and your cons. Okay. And, um, and manifest, manifest, manifest. And also look at who is your team who who are your people around you that you could totally 125 percent um count on when things go wrong it might not be the first person that you think of it might be somebody uh somebody else okay i'm gonna light another one of this because that one was going down and I'm inviting, I'm open and receptive to receiving any spirit guides for Christy. Thank you. Please and thank you. Okay. Okay, now we're going to do the other cards. I just heard Margaret too. Margaret. Okay. Um, so we have the seven heavenly virtues, keys to goodness. This card came up.
Okay, I don't know these cards that well, so I might ha go to the book on it. But first, I'm going to show you what I got. You might be thinking a lot about, like, um, how you could be good or how you could be better. Um, Virgo's always like that. They're always, like, down on themselves, um, you know, that they messed everything up and... You know, how can I be bet a better person? How can I help more people? How, how can I do better? Okay. Um, so money. Find a way to abundance. Okay. I don't have to tell you anything about that because that is definitely on your mind. Find a better way to abundance. So are you thinking about leaving your job or getting a different job? Okay, so also you have to you have to have in your mind when you're manifesting how much money do you want to make at the job and how many days do you want to work? It's much better, like I said before, working less days so that you have more time to do your hobbies, more time to be with your family. Look for ways of making abundance of being of making more money and being abundant. See all those pictures in there? Then I got leadership. Set your goals. Sometimes Virgos have trouble being a leader. Being a, like, I'm the boss of this operation. Although secretly they want to be the boss, they, they have trouble with it because... You know, like you really have to be able to tell people what to do and where to go. Okay. So, but your numbers are saying that you would be better off be having your own business or having something that you have, you set your own hours, maybe even have an office in your house. Um, they're showing me that. Um, yeah, go after that dream that you always wanted to get. Leadership. See that lion? And the sunflowers? It's a beautiful card. Okay. Yeah, the angels want you to be more assertive. The squeaky wheel gets the oil. Okay, so that's a very old-fashioned term. Um, a lot of people might not know what that means because I'm older than everybody. Okay, so... Um, but you're not going to get it by not asking. Uh, you have to open your mouth more towards your goals, towards what you want, what you need and what you want in your life. You have to start communicating that more, okay? And then we have gratitude. Be grateful for all you have. Really important. Look how beautiful. Be grateful for all you have. Okay, because they're showing me you have a lot to be grateful for, but there's always that thing in our mind that, but uh, yeah, I have all this, but I want that. I have all this, but uh, you know, I don't have any friends or I don't have my, I lost my good friend. Um, so God and spirit don't want you to focus on the things that you, you don't have. Focus on what you do have, even if it's one person you can count on even if it's your mom or your dad or your your um your animals um or just something that you built up and you have it and you're happy about it be more happy about it and focus on it and then the more things will come in and the other things that you want that you still want will still come in okay now i'm just going to check on that one card hold up Okay, so 
And this, these cards are from my friend, Intuitive. Intu uh, the name of her channel is Intuitive. And she gave me these cards in this book, and I love them. And she also gave my dog a bone. Um, I see her on my channel sometimes, but she has her own channel to run. Um, intuitive Empath, Intuitive 2. It starts with intuitive. You might see her in the comments. Okay, so the seven heavenly virtues are keys to goodness. You represent spiritual enlightenment, divine knowledge, and wisdom. You have faith and believe in all that is good and meaningful. You have a deep initiative. I'm sorry, you have a deep intuitive understanding of God, the angels, and the universal spirit. You know the keys to goodness. You are being asked to use knowledge to empower and teach others. And Virgos are the great teachers of the world. Okay? Um, so in some facet of your life, they're telling you that you already have it. So what are the seven heavenly virtues? I feel like I'm teaching a religion course. Okay, let me just push that to here. Crystal um, Rose Quartz. Faith is the first one. Belief and trust in the right things. Hope. Belief that good will prevail, and it will. Charity. Unlimited loving kindness to towards others. Fortitude. Never giving up. Justice. Being fair and equitable towards others. Patience. Accepting the grace to forgive. Temperance, practicing self-control and moderation. Oh, please help me with that one. Okay. Um, and so what I heard when I was just reading that, they said the only one they want you to work on is fortitude. Fortitude is never giving up. So they're, they're telling me that there was some dream, some dream that you had like a, it could have been a career or relationship dream or a career dream. Um, and you wanted it. You really wanted it. And it's like you sort of put it aside like, oh, it didn't work out by this amount of time. So it's never going to work out uh, from this point forward. So